Hi, I'm Sarah and you're watching Can Sarah DIY It? Today I am publishing kind of a cool video. <laughs> In my opinion, I get to try something new and exciting. I had a friend, actually my trainer, Chelsea, and if you need a trainer and you live in the Chicagoland area, please reach out to me because I have been training with her for over five years and she has changed my life as far as how healthy I feel. And I mean, definitely we work out and work on strength, but she is kind of like one of those trainers that works on your whole body. Like, like how are you eating? How are you feeling? All of those things. And she's just kind of incredible. So yeah, Chelsea the best. Love her. So anyway, she brought me this. Um, she sent me this picture and said, Hey, do you think you could make something like this? I said, sure, no problem. Um, and then, you know, six months later, I finally made it for her because it was her birthday. <laughs> but needless to say, I have fabric ink. Um, I personally have chalk couture fabric ink, but there are tons of fabric inks that you can get for screen printing. And I will link some in my um, description box, but also I have a bunch of friends that sell chalk decor. So I will link a few of their channels so that you can check them out and um, you could always buy the stuff that I used through them. And I'm sure they have like discounts and stuff like that. I would love it if you would subscribe. Please consider subscribing, comment, like. It makes YouTube notice my channel and share me with other people that might love my content. So that would be amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get into this video right now. When I zoomed in on the picture, I could tell that this was a circle and then the strokes kind of went outside the circle. So I found something round. This happens to be like a cake thing from the Dollar Tree and I traced this around just with a pencil. I just didn't want it to show up in the end result. So I just lightly traced around it so that I would have something as a guide. You can barely see it, but I could see it, which is all that really matters. And I also put in a piece of cardboard into the sweatshirt so that if any of the ink bled through, it wouldn't go to the front of the sweatshirt. So I think that's uh, an important thing to note. Put something underneath the first layer so that it doesn't bleed through to the front. Now I am not experienced in this and you can see I got a little bit of ink on my hand, my gloved hand and I just rubbed it on the sweatshirt because I was like, you know what, I'm going to be putting so much ink on this thing, who cares? In the picture that Chelsea sent me, there were multiple colors kind of blended together so I decided to take the yellow and the red and sort of loosely mix them together so hopefully both colors would sort of show up. And this is what I am doing in this moment here. I blend them loosely together and then I just sort of start going for it and try and stay within the circle so that we keep the circle shape that I sort of centered on the back. And I'm using a squeegee. I don't even think this is a chalk couture squeegee. I think this is just one that I got on Amazon and I start spreading it out in this sort of way that it looked like on the image that she sent me. After I was finished, I let this completely dry overnight before setting it with heat using my heat press. And I then cut out a smiley face in the same style and then press that on with heat transfer vinyl. I 
I grabbed a three pack of jogger type sweatpants from Amazon for Charlotte for Christmas and I just decided you know what I'm just gonna kind of go into this and see what happens and so I laid them out I needed to put a piece of cardboard or something inside the legs so that the ink didn't bleed through and I figured that out and then I just kind of went in and figured out which ink I wanted to use and sort of went from there. I'm just gonna throw some music on and let you enjoy my process and then I'll talk you through the next steps. I should have kept you close, I should have held you tighter cause in my book you were my favorite chapter and when we left each other damn what was I thinking thought there was no answer so blinded to believe it now you're probably thousands of miles away and it's been years since I've seen your smiling face And even though I took measures for all my pain I still dream about you lately and I knew you yeah. Once both sets of pants had dried overnight, I cut out a few different things with my silhouette. But the first thing you wanna do is you want to set that ink with your heat press. Um, you can use an iron, but you wanna put like a butcher paper or something like that uh, down so that you don't damage your iron or anything like that. The next thing that I did was place my vinyl pieces down and press those. If you are using a smooth vinyl and a glitter vinyl, you want to do your smooth vinyl first and then your glitter vinyl because glitter vinyl is thicker and so you're going to have a better result. The yellow and charcoal pants, Charlotte is a Hufflepuff, so of course. I had to make her a pair of Hufflepuff pants. And happiness, I just kind of wanted to do a hippy dippy happy type vibe, and so that's what I went with. One last thing, the pink pants had the graphic running down the side of the leg, and then the charcoal Hufflepuff pants had the graphic running down the front of the leg, almost like on the thigh and the knee. I just wanted to try something different on each, and I cannot wait until after Christmas to have Charlotte try these on. We'll absolutely be posting pictures to my community tab. I just want to say thank you for watching my video and if you are still here this long into the video please uh, hit that like button, shoot me a comment, let me know if you have ideas of how you would 
um, use this kind of technique and um, do something different. Of course, I'm making gifts for my daughter, but I have ideas of how I could use this in a lot of different ways, possibly on home decor like pillows and things like that. You know that I'm doing Charlotte's bedroom, which is like an ongoing project, but we got a lot done last night actually. So more to come on that. I think that's my next video. I'm gonna try and work on this week before Christmas. <laughs> Happy holidays. Um, hopefully I'll get a couple more videos out before the end of the year, but if I don't, I just wanna wish everyone uh, a happy new year, happy holidays to whatever you celebrate. Um, best wishes and what a wonderful year. We'll see you in 2023 or maybe before that. I don't know. Maybe I'll publish more videos. Who knows? I don't know. I am not a mind reader. I don't know if I'm reliable enough. I also have to get all of my holiday shopping done. <laughs> all right. Goodbye. Make sure to try something new. Wait. Make sure to try something new, challenge yourself, enjoy your family and friends, and just remember what you're grateful for and happy for it. Goodbye. Now, wait, hold now. I'm goodbye. 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 <laughs> okay. Blah, 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 blah. We'll cut this out. This won't be in the video. <laughs> so stupid Sarah you're so stupid okay I should have kept you close I should have held you tighter because in my book you were my favorite chapter and when we left each other damn what was I thinking thought there was no answer so blinded to believe it now you're probably thousands of miles away and it's been years since I've seen your smiling face And even though I took measures but